So I'm on Instagram and I'm on my explore page and I see that there's a post from the um, this account that deals with everything reality TV and basically it says that Monique posted the screen sh she posted reposted a snippet of Candace's live where she talks about the plot um, against her and whatever the trainer or whatever but it's like Monique <laughs> You, you just look even more foolish because all this did was prove to us what we already knew that Candace was one of the few people who said I'm not down with this plot I'm not doing this this shit is not gonna work that baby looks like his father I'm not doing this so like what are you doing <laughs> Monique every time you post something you look even more foolish and then I'm looking at the comments and it looks like that um that post was a, was a part of um so it was two pictures and one of the pictures was the promo art for Monique's whatever song uh, I think it's uh Drag Queens and um then the next photo is Candace's thing and it's like girl not you using Candace for promo for your whack song but see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you, <laughs> the fact that you have to use this to promote your song just goes to show. <laughs> you don't have any real friends. You don't have any true supporters. You don't. You are a pawn to every person who you think is a true friend. To every person you feel are your true fans and true supporters. Because what, what do they say about you? When people go back and forth with them, what, what do they say? All, they always go back to, we're jealous. They always go back to, you want her lifestyle. You want, you want her lifestyle. You, you want to look like her. You want her. No, you want that. The only reason you like Monique is because you can live through her. No, God, I don't want that. I'll never spend that much time obsessing over someone like that. Trying to live through someone. No, God. Because I'll never live for myself. I'm never. What is there to be jealous of? The only thing they can speak on when they defend you, Monique, are your looks and your husband's bank account. That's sad. They don't ever talk about your personality. They don't ever speak on any characteristics that make you who you are except for your aggression and your violent tendencies towards your co-workers that's pretty sad because these are the same people who won't turn around and support your rap career they won't turn around and support your essential oils. They won't turn around and support your YouTube channel. They won't turn around and support that failed business and the janky podcast. They're not going to do it. No one is checking for you. You are a pawn to these people you call your fans because they can get to Candace through you. They hate Candace so much that they latch on to you because you have you hold that same hate in your heart you are nothing but a doorway to Candace for them and it's the same way with the people you consider your ride or die you are nothing but a doorway to Giselle for Karen which is why she sided with you in the first place and we all know the thing between you and Ashley is an arrangement and as soon as she can find something to get one over on you, you're done. You don't. Ha you have made an enemy out of literally everyone. And the one true friend you had, you fought her on TV. For what? For what? You have yet to explain it. And this snippet that you just posted further shows that she was a true friend to you. Because she was not dealing with that plot. And you've already admitted that she had nothing to do with the plot. You've already admitted that she was not with it. 
that Candace did not want any parts of it. You've already admitted that, so what are you posting this for? Because now you look stupid. Why did you kiki with Giselle in the beginning of the season? And you're fine taking pictures with Sharice. And you've said nothing to Gigi. The three people you feel are the spearheads of this rumor. You've had no smoke for them. Like, girl, you look foolish. Just sit there and say that this little check from Bravo and your need for validation from someone who doesn't fuck with you, just say that those two things were more important than your family. Just say that you chose a check and validation over your family. Because you didn't have nothing to say two years back when this was really on and popping. You didn't handle this two years back when you should have. You didn't handle it. Now, all of a sudden, after you fought someone on TV and you're getting slack for it, as you should, now, all of a sudden, you care about the plot. You care about the rumors. Get out of here. It is a smoke screen, so you don't have to take accountability for literally anything. And it's like, girl, you're just, like, that's just pathetic. Like, come on. Anyhow, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, yeah, there's a, I mean, you know, I have a lot more feelings on it, but that was just on that particular post that I had saw on the page that deals with reality TV, so... Yeah, I heard she got her contract, but there's just no way she's going to be full time. <laughs> there's no way. No one wants to film with her. You have created a hostile work environment. Nobody wants to film with you. And the thing is, I really think that, you know, if she comes back, I think Bravo is going to hang her out to dry. I do, because she's not interesting enough to film on her own. She's just not. Who wants to watch her in that damn bird? Nobody. No one is tuning in for that. They're going to hang her out to dry. Because if no one films with her, she'll have no choice but to air out her dirty business. And, and, and if she does come back, the ladies are not going to let up on her. They're not. This is going to be crazy. Oh, I can't wait for this thing to end. But anyhow, this is really all I have to say. So, thanks for listening. Ciao.